Welcome to Wade Refresh, I'm Wade and today we're jumping into the world of Sands of Salsa. Unlike other classes, the best skills for Shaman are locked behind character quests. But even without these skills, I'm going to show you how you can get from level 1 to 18 in just over a week. For this video, I only want to use 60 legacy points. That's just to make sure that anyone watching can follow what I do. With those 60 points, I'm going to focus on strength, agility and stamina potions that will increase my damage and reduce the damage I take. Before we forget, let's use our potions and then check our skill points. In the skill menu, we have one point that we're going to use on slam. As you can see in this fight, slam is a lunge attack that damages opponents that you pass through. In the interest of time, I'm going to skip the main story dialogue, but if this is your first playthrough, feel free to go ahead and read it. Once that's over, we're going to travel to Redstone Valley. We can start off by going to the Redstone Keep. Once we're here, we're going to go on Manage Squad and then dismiss our wolves. Having less squad members means we get more experience per fight. After this, we'll go talk to the Wandering Painter. He'll give us the experience we need to get to level 2. At level 2, we'll unlock Crunch, which is a damage AoE that inflicts a bleed. Just south of Redstone Keep there's an NPC we're going to want to talk to. He's going to set us up for the Shaman questline. After we talk to him, he tells us to wait 7 days and then meet him at the mine. In this video, I'm going to focus on what you should be doing in those 7 days to get you leveled up and get you ready to do the rest of the Shaman quest. For now, I'm just going to focus on putting my points in slam. If you make your way over to the warrior's graveyard and take the longsword, we're going to sell this to buy a horse. I was lucky enough to get a mythic sword, but your sword will be randomly generated. While we're down here, we'll do the fight to enter the Pahoehoe Hoi Lava Void. Not that we'll do the dungeon, but we can use the experience from this fight. Okay, awesome. Now we're done with that, we have a few other fights on this map to do. At level 4, I'll put another point in slam. I've been trying to pick up potions and whatever loot I can, just to make sure I have enough to buy a horse. I'm not spending my skill point right now, I'm waiting till I get to level 6. Okay, time to buy a horse. Um, as you can see, we can just sell our sword that we got before and we'll be able to buy a good horse. Otherwise, we'd probably just sell the potions we have. 
But now that I have the horse, it's time to go to Umbral Cliffs and let the real leveling start. Now that we're level 6, it'd be a good time to pick a form. I'm going to stick with Canis form, even though I could have picked it at level 3, but there's also Spider form and Eagle form. Shapeshifter Mastery is also going to give me a small heal every time I shapeshift. This is the first time we're fighting these lizards, so I'll slow things down. Just make sure that you don't get stuck in between them and that you try to avoid standing in the purple gas. Okay, so you're going to have to be careful with these angry spirits. Make sure you keep moving to avoid their ranged attack. And if you're running low on health, remember that you can get a small heal by using your Canis form. You can use the experience crystals we got from those caverns anytime you want. Make sure you don't spend your skill point at level 10 and 11 so that we can use them at level 12 for our skill massacre. Now we've reached level 12, we have 3 points to spend on Massacre.
levels are only going to get you so far. Where you're going, you're going to need good equipment as well. By talking to the arena announcer, you start a series of fights that will progressively get you better loot. At this point, you should be able to take them all out pretty easily. The quality of loot is somewhat randomly generated, so if you're a bit of a perfectionist and you want the best gear, you might want to save before you start these fights. That being said, any gear you get here is going to be better than what you have. So as you can see, we got a mythic armor set and a mythic spear. The quest is ready for us to start and so we'll pick up a few encounters on our way up towards Crying Rock. I decided to put 3 points into Canis Spirit, and later on I'll be planning to get Canis Ultra. This will be the last encounter we do, but it is the highest level one, so lucky we saved it for last. Now that's a lot of damage! Once you use the experience stones, congratulations, you're now level 18. Now that you've finished leveling, well, you haven't finished, you still have to get to level 20. But now that you've finished leveling as much as I'm going to show you, you should probably head to Prism Rock Village and finish those Shaman quests. You can use this map to easily find the locations I went to in this guide. And uh, while I'm here, I thought, why not address some of the comments that I've got in the last few weeks? So, my very first comment on my very first video was from Han B, who said thanks a lot. Um... Yeah, well, thank you, Han. I'm not sure if you subscribed or you watched any of my videos since then, but yeah, it really meant a lot to me. This video was actually inspired by a question that Ronnie asked. Um, he asked me to make a video about Beastmaster. I didn't quite understand what he meant, so this might not have been the type of video he was looking for, but um, maybe I'll work on an actual Beastmaster video in the future. Next, uh, I'll look at Graveseeker's comment. Thank you, Graveseeker. I guess I can answer the gift question real quick. You can get gifts from either Killing Bandits or when you finish a dungeon. M. Brennan also commented, uh, thanks for your Sands of Salsa videos. I found them really helpful. Yeah, well, thanks, mate. I'm glad I could help you. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let me know. Uh, Beanie said, this quest made no sense to me, thanks for uploading. Uh, no worries Beanie, um, to be honest, if I upload something about a quest, it's normally because I didn't understand how to do it either, so, you know, don't feel like you're the only one. Rusty asked, can you make a tutorial about a very underrated game, Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator? I've reached a snag about four hours in and you seem to know what you're doing. Um, no, 
No, I can't do that. Sorry. Um, yeah. Anyway, next question. Uh, Bryce Pardo said, a free Andrew Tate. Um, I mean, I heard he's free now. I had nothing to do with that, but I guess you're welcome. And uh, on that note, I think we should um, end the video.